Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats, to another episode of Stranded Deep. A couple things have changed since the last time we played. Uh, well, rather, the last time I recorded the video. Uh, I was going to go out and do some uh, searching for some sunken ships when I managed to find one of the greatest treasures I have yet to find in these episodes. Something we've been looking for for a while. Um, which would also explain the title of this video. You might be asking, what the hell is a barrel barge? Well, quite simply, it's an act of desperation. I, uh, as I was out hunting ships, I managed to find a couple up on an island that I hadn't explored yet, and I found some barrels. And I wanted barrels for so long, not for the raft, but so that I could make that stupid hobo stove and show it to you. The only problem is I couldn't find any way to get it home. You can't put it in your inventory. You can't, I mean, I suppose I could have swam all the way home carrying a barrel, but come on, no, I don't think so. So I ended up making this monstrosity. I, I, I enlarged the raft, and uh, it's all got flooring on it except the center, which is where I put the barrels. I found three barrels. They come in groups of three. The only problem is, I put all three barrels in the middle of this thing, and that poor little motor could not move the raft. It was just too heavy. I ended up having to ditch two of the three barrels, but that's all right, because I did finally manage to get one barrel home, and as our reward for our persistence and effort, we now have a hobo stove. And this is, this is very simple to use. You just light the fire. You put whatever meat you want. You drag and drop it on top of this grill. And it will cook your food. So we finally have a hobo stove. While I was out, I also managed to pick up a couple more buckets for our ever-growing bucket farm here. Um, unfortunately, both of our plants are dead, so one of these days, one of these episodes, I'm going to have to uh, redo these and focus on them for a little bit. Uh, I did notice when I went over here next to this one, back behind it, there were a whole bunch of kawawa fruit. They're spoiled. I can't eat them. But I'm hoping, uh, after some of these water buckets fill back up, that I'll be able to plant them and use them to grow more kawawa trees. So... Um, this episode, what I thought I would do is I did record my running around. Like I said, I was trying to find some sunken ships, some plane crashes at the bottom of the, the ocean. They're very hard to see during the day. I wasn't able to find any. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of night hunting. Uh, the, the wrecks at the bottom of the ocean give off bubbles. And you can see those bubbles at the surface of the water really easy at night. So I'm probably going to have to go, you know, if I'm going to find any wrecks, I'll probably have to find them at night, sleep on the raft, and then record during the day. For now, however, like I said, I did record the whole process of my finding the barrels and building the stupid raft, and getting the barrels back and building the stove. So what I thought I would do for this episode is go ahead and run that through for you. We'll run it through at a faster speed so it doesn't take so long. And we will let you listen to your beloved sea shanty music. But, um, yeah, for now we finally have the hobo stove. So if we go through our crafting, it looks like we've built pretty much everything of interest here except the spear gun. I would like to build the spear gun. I've got everything for a spear gun except that stupid air tank and that's why I need to go out and start looking for shipwrecks. I'm probably going to have to find a couple of them before I get that air tank. I want the harpoon gun so that we can go shark hunting. Um, I've gone through the house building. I've built a little bit of everything out of here. Uh, you've watched me use the rafts to build. Uh, you know how the farming works. Uh, the the medical section is still not active yet. It, um, when they do institute it, you'll be able to create drinks and salves. Right now, you can't do that. So, um, 
now that it's dark, why don't we uh, go ahead and take a look at that footage that I told you about, and uh, you can watch me fight tooth and claw to get the materials I need, and you can see what it took me to get that stupid barrel, that one barrel, back to base. It's made of wood I've seen my share of battles And then my bad and good Murders, thieves, ravenous rogues And men who are far worse But by far the most offensive Was a man named Captain Curse The monkey had a shoulder By the name of Scurvy Pete The captain had a wooden leg But somehow had two feet he wore a patch over an eye And lost to a musket ball But had Slimy looks, he stood just four feet tall His teeth were yellow from scurvy And some were falling out His skin was thick and leather And he had a case of gout Wore a brace of pistols And so did scurvy beat He was the most fearsome fellow You have a chance to meet Hey, I've been around the world On a ship that's made of wood I've seen my share of battles And then my bad and good Murderers, thieves, ravenous rogues And men who are far worse But by far the most offensive was a man named Captain Curse. He once had a whore, he named her Lady Blow. He paid her in corn liquor and she put him on a show. It started with a dance and you think you know the rest. But it ended rather quick with scurvy beat inside her dress. In battle on the 5th of May, oh, Curse was quite a sight. He bellowed orders to the crew to get into the fight. Said he was out of shot, you know what Oker said. Blow the cat out or ask me last. One, two, three, four. Paint the vessel red. Hey, I've been around the world on a ship that's made of wood. I've seen my share of battles and then my bad and good. Murderers, thieves, ravenous rogues, and men who are far worse, but by far the most offensive. Was a man named Captain. Fantastic. I put my lips to her, she was also bombastic. Her body like ember, she gave me great cheer. Ready? Okay. Two, four, six, eight. You can watch your master! Wait! And I licked every drop of this fine mug of beer. All liquor and women and liquor some more. You'll find me pulling myself off the floor. Will I wake in my bedroom or round the back door? All liquor and women and liquor some more. She was stout, she was dark, not for everyone's taste. She went down quite well, and I'm not care to waste. So I pulled her close to me, we got down to business. I made quick business of it, too. I mean, it, it, no, no, it's, it's, it's okay. She said it happens to everybody. I mean, it happens to you guys, right? No. Nope. No. No. Guys? No. 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 Guys. Just me and my lover, this fine mug of Guinness. All liquor and women and liquor some more. You'll find me pulling myself off the floor. Will I wake in my bedroom or round the back door? All liquor and women and liquor some more. He beats, they tell me to give up my drink. They say I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing! But I really don't care what they think. I'm more concerned with what's brewing. She smelled the berries and beckoned to me. She was mighty full-bodied, sitting on my goatee. She dripped on my cheeks and she was in deep hell. Like an albino? No, I think she was a goth chick. No, maybe she was a ghost. And I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling pirates and that damn pizza guy. <laughs> Lost myself in the moment, this fine mug of bell. All liquor and women and liquor some more. You'll find me pulling myself off the floor. When I wake in my bedroom or round the back door. All liquor and women and liquor some more. All liquor and women and liquor 
some more You'll find me pulling myself off the floor Well, I wake in my bedroom or around the back door All liquor and women and liquor some more All liquor and women and liquor some more You'll find me pulling myself off the floor Well, I wake in my bedroom or around the back door Salute the skull and crossbones, deviate from what you've been taught. When your captain speaks, you better be listening. Salute the skull and crossbones, you better do what you're told. Your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul. Salute! Black and white, John the Roger, and a hole full of loot. We sail the seas and cross the shore through the Caribbean and around Cape Horn. There ain't much that we haven't seen. Great men have fought for the loot, you see. We've widowed 14 colonies. Hits. We could damn well start our own country, mates. That's right, and I could be king, mate. You can't be king, you're not Russian. Well, what does that matter? Checkmate? Oh. Salute the skull and crossbones, deviate from what you've been taught. When your captain speaks, you better be listening. Salute the skull and crossbones, you better do what you're told. Your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul. Salute! Black and white, John Roger, and a whole full of loot. I'm told it's Spaniards, boy, and some of the ships that we destroyed After we took a few prisoners Great men have died from the ships we've looted And that, young lads, is why you've been recruited I don't think it was really recruited so much as a draft Oh, you mean like football? No, no. Salute the skull and crossbones Deviate from what you've been taught When your captain speaks, you better be listening Salute the skull and crossbones You better do what you're told your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul. Salute! Black and white, Johnny Roger, and a hole full of loot. Don't second guess me, mate. I've been at it way too long. Back down the hatches and tie the rigging off. There's a storm of brewing yonder, and only bad luck to think. Not one more word, you soon be walking the plank. Yar. <laughs> he said yar. What? What? It's piratey. <laughs> He said it's Salute the skull and crossbones Deviate from what you've been taught When your captain speaks you better be listening Dum da dum 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 Salute the skull and crossbones You better do what you're told Your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul Here we go, here we go, here we go Salute the skull and crossbones Deviate from what you've been taught When your captain speaks you better be listening Dum da dum 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 Salute the skull and crossbones You better do what you're told your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul. Your mother ain't here, the devil's got your soul. Question the captain, he says, mates, we're making good time. Said there's land up yonder, but ten miles ahead, there'll be wine and women and big soft beds. Way down, way oh, way down, way oh, way down, way. We've been months 
out to sea. Wait on we, oh, wait on we, oh, wait on we, we've been months out to sea. Well, we made port just as sun had set, and a spade in rum and ladies in fine dress. Well, the harbor master chuckled, boys, your pleasures might be here, as long as you like women with no teeth. One leg sometimes very overweight. Little rash, bad breath, all stinky feet, and jugglies hanging down to their knees. Way down, way, oh, way down, way, oh, way down, way, we've been months out to sea. Way down, way, oh, way down, way, oh, way down, way, we've been months out to sea. Well, we shrugged it off and headed to the public house. Merriment ensued and laughter abound But when we looked around and saw what the man said was true We looked to the captain, he said, boys, is what to do Drink till she's pretty, boys, way down the way, oh Drink till she's pretty, boys, way down the way Drink till she's pretty, boys, way down the way She's pretty, we've been months out to sea. Drink till she's pretty, or this night will go slow. Drink till she's pretty, and nobody has to know. Oh, I swear by the morning coming, they're still good for the cure. So, drink till she's pretty, boys, and one more to be sure. Well, drink till she's pretty, oh, I know it might take a lot. By the cock's first crow, we'll be off of this dock. With a barrel of whiskey and the lesson learned So drink till she's pretty, boys, we'll never Sure, and 21 years at sea, every port that John went into soon would follow the ladies. Johnny knew he didn't have time this time for a frolicking liaison, for his pirate ship and needed a crew. Sit back, the best part's yet to come. Well, Mary was a mother of a strapping young lad, six foot tall and growing. The older he got, the more he looked like his pa. His features he was showing a day like any other day when the ship made bay. She sent him to the dock to see. Go and find that man with a gleam in his eye. And a face looks just like me. Got it. Heave him up, me brothers. Heave him to the nest. Let starvation get the best of him and the birds can have the rest. Johnny was a ladies' man, but ne'er up tonight. For every sailor on the ship was a bastard son. Much to John's surprise. George was tall and lanky, stood by John Jr. And John Jr. stood by John Jr. And John Jr. And John Jr. 37 men from 25 ports were taken out to sea and entered into a life of crime in Captain John's custody. Well. Several months went by and the men did pine and started most innocently. All had told tales of a mother at home and a father out to sea. Till one man laughed and scoffed, Hey mate, you kinda look like the captain! Then the others stood around to the others and then... The consensus was, let's hang him. Yeah! Yeah! Heave him up, me brothers. Heave him to the nest. Let starvation get the best of him and the birds can have the rest. Johnny was a ladies' man, but ne'er after night. For every sailor on the ship was a bastard son. Much to John's surprise. I guess you could say there was a light that day, an epiphany of sorts. For when Captain John first realized, he set forth a brand new course. Gather round me, lads, I'll teach you the ways of piracy. And split the loot and plunder with your 50-50. Aha, that's the need for me. I'm 50-50. You need a void. 
Oh, oh, give me, I apologize, said John to the lot. I sought a warm place to put it, but a family I did not. You see, my home's here on the sea, so give your paw as due. For each poke that I went into, I simply looked for a brand new. Um, shoe? No, screw you, idiot. Screw you, bastard. Heave them up, me brothers. Heave them to the nest. Let starvation get the best of him, and the birds can have the rest. Johnny was a ladies' man, but ne'er after tonight. For every sail on the ship was a bastard son. Much to John's surprise, and every sailor on the ship was his bastard son. Which led to John's demise. effort it takes to get one barrel from one island to another uh, maybe when you play if you have any better ideas on how this can be done uh, more efficiently than I did it let me know I'm gonna be playing this game on and off for a while in the future every time they do a major repatch and not and reset I'm gonna have to start over so if there is some way to get barrels preferably more than one at a time back to camp uh, 
let me know. I would really appreciate it. But for now, this has been your host, DM Renavion, saying thank you again for joining us on Stranded Deep. Until next time, be safe and have fun. I'm out.